Well, right, hey everybody, this is Dan from Halley. Welcome back to my channel, unless, of course, this is your very first time joining me on this channel, in which case that is just welcome, isn't it? That is until the next video when I'll be welcoming you back because you're going to be pressing that subscription box down there. It's a big red box, says subscribe. Once you do that, you get the option to get notified every single time that I drop new content on this channel, which is usually daily, sometimes twice daily, maybe even three times. Who knows? But there's always going to be fresh content here on this channel. Just like this video where we're going to be reacting to Angelina Jordan's final appearance on Norway's Got Talent. We've watched several videos from her already. We know that I love her. I know that you love her. And we already know that she wins this competition, right? So why are we even watching this? Well, because I want to be blown away by this uh, young girl once again as she does a cover of Summertime a song that was originally composed by George Gershwin for DuBose Hayward's Porgy and Bess. It was also another song that became a major hit when it got into the hands of Billie Holiday and then later with uh, Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. Uh, so many people have recorded the song. It, it's become known as not just a great jazz song, but one of the great jazz songs. And not just that, uh, Stephen Sondheim and several other musical composers of the time uh, went out of their way to suggest that this is probably one of the greatest numbers in musical theater history. And I happen to agree with it. This is an absolutely fantastic song, and we're about to listen to Angelina Jordan cover it right now. Hun var den første deltageren som blev klar for finalen, men nu er ventetiden endelig over for åtteåringen, som kaller sig en helt vanlig jente. Men til å være en helt vanlig jente, så vil jeg i alle fall si at hun har etterlatt sig et helt uvanlig intryck så langt i norske talenter. Foran oss her, folkens, så har vi en stjerne. Egentlig så er jeg en vanlig jente. Du er jo musik. Det skjer jo veldig mye med intervjuer og sånn. Det var en gammel dame, og så sa hun at uh, jeg ble rørt. Og så sa jeg at det var ikke meningen. Da klemte hun meg. Dette er starten på noe som er veldig, veldig spennende i ditt liv. Dette har vært en reise. Og den er ikke enda ferdig. Angelina, jeg tror at jeg kan si at jeg elsker deg. I mitt hjerte har du allerede vinning. Jeg elsker å synge. Og det skal jeg vise dere i kveld. All right, let's do it, Angelina. Uh, before she does start singing, I just want to put it out there. Uh, on my last video, I made mention that uh, I found a video version that had subtitles and I was using that. Um, those subtitles are for me as I'm reacting to and I'd like to see what it's saying. Uh, when a reactor reacts to a video, it is not supposed to be a secondary version for you to watch copyrighted content. Um, YouTube doesn't like it when we do that, so I, I'm doing what I do with a smaller video and all this stuff in just trying to abide by YouTube's uh, community guidelines and their policies and whatnot, because at any given point, uh, a copyright holder can just tell a reactor, don't nope, you ain't doing that, we're pulling it, and we can't upload these anymore. So I'm just trying to play ball. Uh, thank you guys for understanding, and uh, let's continue on with this reaction video. So 
this is really, really good so far. Um, it's all very expected to me. It, it, it almost sounds like she's completely channeling Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, I said expected. I don't mean that as in there's nothing good going on here, because that's not what I mean at all. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald was such a talented, talented singer that, uh, and, and Billie Holiday too, Her their voices are just so hard to emulate, and I'm not saying that she's emulating them, but she's emulating their inflection and their tone, uh, even the, the tempo and the pitch of their voice, while still remaining uniquely Angelina. And I mean, this is just seconds into the song, and I'm already in love with what I'm hearing. Uh, there's no way that anybody could have done better than this. They could have just stopped the competition. I, I also noticed that she has a very jazzy way of holding her uh, holding her microphone. Um, you know, you don't really see that often. Most times when somebody is learning stage presence and, you know, how to hold a microphone, stuff like that, uh, they're, they're told to hold it like a rose, not like a hammer. She is holding it like a dang staff. Like, she, she is really gripping that thing. And that's something that you used to see on stage in a lot of jazz musicians because it made it feel really intimate. And gripping onto it is, uh, is a very emotional presence thing. Um, you know, you'll often see people twisting it to show tension or letting go to emulate letting go. It's just another way that Angelina is uh, showing the emotion or performance here. And yeah, this is really, really cool. Absolutely wow. You know, I, I I showed a co-worker uh one of Angelina's uh videos last night, uh, one of the ones that I've already reacted to, that is, and she <laughs> he I should say, he said that it you know he doesn't get it, it that it sounded like her voice was cracking. Um it was a very similar sound to what she just did to end off uh this uh, rendition of Summertime. But he just doesn't get it. And I've seen... I've seen that a few times, not just on Angelina, but other artists as well. They, they don't get the kind of control that uh, something like that takes. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, just so we can have... Because I don't know the word for it, and I don't want to sound like an idiot. So... that so when he heard that he said yeah i don't get it that doesn't sound like it takes a lot of talent that sounds like it's just uh of her voice cracking and how, how how do you hear something like that 
and not hear what that does to your voice, how much power and control and strain that takes on you. That is something that she should not be able to do. And I'm not just talking about her age. I'm talking about just the size of her. You don't expect that kind of power and control from somebody that is, you know? Uh, that was an absolutely stunning cover of Summertime. Absolutely stunning. Klarer du å snakke? Hva skal man si? Det er som et eventyr å sitte her og se på deg, Angelina. Jeg drømmer meg helt bort, og jeg vil bare si tusen takk for det du gir oss. Du er en gave for norske talenter. Ja, og jeg vet at du ikke kan lese det, men du har sett det før, men jeg har ikke. Men han bare sier at det har vært en gang. Han har takket henne for å være en del av dette. Saying that he's very thankful for you know being a part of her journey and Norway's got talent, and I, I am too. I can uh, second that sen sentiment because I'm definitely thankful for uh, being suggested to listen to Angelina and uh, being requested to do her songs that she did for Norway's Got Talent because she is an absolutely incredible singer. Det hjelper liksom ikke, Angelina, hvor mange ganger du sier «Don't you cry». Så jeg klarer bare ikke å la være. Og Gud vet jeg hadde lovet meg selv at jeg skulle prøve. Men du treffer noe inn i meg når du synger. Og du treffer noe inn i veldig mange når du synger. Og jeg sitter og tenker på at yeah, so he's just saying kind of what I was mentioning on earlier with the, and I think I brought it up in every single reaction that I've done to her on Norway's Got Talent, um, that she just has a way, not just in her singing, uh, but in her very presence of being on stage, she has a way of reaching into people's emotions. Um, and it is, it's not just her singing, um, but she does with her inflection and her enunciation in her projection, but it's everything she does, every choice that she makes on stage from what she's wearing to uh, the way that she does her hair, to the way that she holds her microphone, to the way that she stands, to the way that just everything is just, you know, a, a precise choice. It's, it's like a mathematical equation for reaching into you and getting the desired effect from any given song that she chooses to do. And it's a, it's a rare talent for, uh, for anybody. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how small you are. Uh, I, there are people out there that are established artists that would have trouble with this. You know, people that they have great singing talent. But when you hear them in an interview, or you can tell from their stage presence, or lack thereof, that they have the charisma and the arranging skills of a dump truck, well, uh, it's the complete opposite with Angelina. She is so, so gifted. Om ti år, så er du 18 år. Jeg synes det er helt ufattelig. Jeg vet ikke hva mer jeg skal si, Angelina, men... Du synger så utrolig fint. Det er ikke så veldig ofte at jeg blir rørt på den måten som jeg blir når du synger. Og i dag var det grining på høyt nivå fra meg. 
Eh, og det var tårer av lykke over at det finns et menneske som synger så vakkert. Altså det er, for mig så er det nesten litt sånn, det er helt sånn utenomjordisk. Eh, jeg tenker jo at eh, folk må jo stemme på dette her. Dette her er jo helt, jeg har aldri opplevd lignende. Ja. Jeg har aldri opplevd lignende. Du har fått en gedigen gave som viser seg eh, hos deg som er så utrolig ung. Du har fått en mulighet til å formidle noe til mennesket. Og det er gjerne en stor oppgave for eh, en åttaåring, men den har du fått. Og den, den er rett og slett litt sjelden, for det at i dag så er det ikke så mange som klarer å formidle. De synger, og det er veldig mange som synger bra. Men det som er din styrke, det er at du har en helt unik formidlingsevne. Uh, she is literally just saying exactly what I said before uh, about her ability to communicate emotions and bring emotions out of people. Uh, she's just saying, you know, that there are so many people out there that can sing and can sing well, but there's not a lot of people out there, let alone somebody of her age and her stature that can do this at all, period, regardless of age, right? And it, that's absolutely true. There are so many people out there that can sing, but there, there's no one out there that can do anything like this. Det skal du ta vare på. Det skal du vite inni deg at faktisk det er stort. For det at det er en gave fra universet. Og du er en stor gave for å falle. Når det er sagt, så må vi si det at husk på det. Det er... Du har ikke noe ansvar i å levere noe til folk for det du leverer allerede her. Det er en gave til oss som ja. får lov til å sitte og høre på. Mm. Det ligger ikke noe ansvar i det. Ikke tenk, bare syng. Ja. <laughs> Men så vil du Hvordan har det vært å være med norske talenter og få sånne tilbakemeldinger? Det er helt fantastisk å være med. Ja. Det kan jeg se. Åh, Synes du at Angelina er like fantastisk som det dommerne synes? Da sender hun sms med tallet 9 til 26 400, eller så ringer du den nummeret som står på skjermen. Angelina! Det kan være både en fordel og en ulempe å ha vært med på norske talenter tidligere. Fordelen er jo at du vet hva det går til. Og ulempen er at du vet hva det går til. Men du online forkauft. And that is it for Angelina Jordan's journey on Norway's Got Talent. And it was an absolute pleasure for me to watch those videos. Um, the, the, the story that she tells on stage, uh, just an amazing journey to watch her do it, to get, go from that very first song uh, up to summertime to win this, the whole thing is just wow. Um, I don't have too many other words that uh, I can use to describe it. And you know what? I, I think that's fine. You guys have the words. You guys have watched this. You guys know how amazing she is. You don't need me to tell you any more than you already know. Um, just know that this was absolutely amazing to me. Uh, there's not a lot of times where I feel so wowed by a singer's ability like I am for Angelina. Um, I do want it known that I think that there's kind of a disconnect out there. So some of you have mentioned that I, I seem... Uh, disconnected myself from what I'm reacting to with Angelina, uh, that I don't seem excited, that I'm not emotionally invested. That could not be further from the truth. Uh, but there is a, there's a stark difference between being entertained and enjoying quality music. Uh, it's just like watching a movie, right? You can watch, what, you can watch Anchorman a thousand times and still laugh at it, 
But that doesn't mean that that's a better movie than Schindler's List because you've only watched Schindler's List once, right? It's the same thing. I can listen to all this country pop and rock and all these other songs so many times over and over and over again, covered by several different artists. But that doesn't mean that just because I have a, you know, more poppy reaction to it because I look like I'm enjoying myself more doesn't mean that because I'm not doing that with Angelina Jordan doesn't mean that I'm not emotionally invested with her. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Um, I've heard these songs before. I know these songs before. The ones that I have a more you know striking reaction to. And I get that because it, they are more entertaining. Some of these songs are designed to be drinking songs or toe-tapping songs or dancing songs. But Angelina Jordan songs are designed to be emotional. They're designed to tell a story. And I'm just listening to her story and I'm watching her story. And I am completely enthralled by what I'm seeing her do on stage. So try to keep that in mind when you you know, watch things and listen to things yourself. Quality and entertainment are not the same thing. They're just not. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. I'm not done with Angelina Jordan at all. I'm going to be listening to more of her stuff, uh, starting with some of her originals um, with my next reaction video, I dare say, which will probably be in the next couple of days. Um, and I hope you stick around for that. Because like I said, I'm not done. My journey is just starting. Can't wait to see where she's developed from here. Because I mean, she's still a teenager. And to see what she's come from, from, you know, Norway's Got Talent up to now is just going to be an absolute delight. I know it. And I uh, can't wait to share that with you in the near future. All right, guys. See you soon.